What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here, RTSWall.com, bringing you some PvP action here. Uh, we are currently fighting the OP4S Flying Turds, and we are approaching our buddy here at uh, let's see, 3 km. And we're moving towards them to brawl. Moving towards them to brawl. Let's just get a ping in. And again, we are fighting some pew pew OP4s flying turds. <laughs> There's a lot of people in the system right now, I'm sure you can see. 1111, 1111 people inside the system. Most of them are allied forces. There's about 300 red forces, and the rest are allied. In about a half hour, red station is going to come out of cooldown. And at that point, we are going to go ahead and get in the pew pew. All right, ladies and gents, we are in it. We are at the station. There is about 700, 800 ships at the station. It's an extreme lag fest. Uh, I did fast forward this uh, speed times two. That way you don't have to sit through the entire station fight at real speed. But what you're going to see here is me engaging. There's a few battle cruisers and... Uh, and other ships, uh, magnates and a couple of the ships that are near the uh, station kind of trying to pick off people who are coming in. So I've gone ahead and activated my, you know, 1,700 uh, meter per second speed boost on my little mauler brawler. And I am just deep, deep, deep in orbit against this hurricane, taking him out. You can see we're down to hull. I'm calling for my fleet to get on this guy. Uh, when we all warped in, unfortunately, about half of us DC'd. You can see my fleet drop from 10 to 8, and three or four of those eight are actually, uh, they can't even see the target just due to the massive number of people. You can see I'm trying to open the kill report, and if it doesn't load after about 10 seconds, I say, all right, that's enough. I don't need to die while trying to find the kill report. So, um, But yeah, we are just going through. We are at the station right now. You'll get a good shot of the station in a minute or two here uh once we pick off some of these exterior ships we are going to move in uh, let me just grab some loot just loot this guy's corpse looting that op4s corpse baby feels good blood for the blood god blood for the blood god uh and by the way feel free to give me a like and sub if you've enjoyed this video so far um it has been an interesting uh interesting day to say the least we had uh, quite a good form up uh, with lead writer, of course, leading us there uh, over over a few jumps out. And then we hopped on over here with our allied coalition. And again, uh, oh, I, I do want to apologize. The previous clip, the intro clip to this video, uh, where we were kind of doing the gate defense, um, the humming noise you heard in the background was actually the fan on my computer because I was running some alt, alt accounts on my computer. And due to the sheer number of players in system, my poor computer decided to catch on fire almost, uh, but uh, now it got up to about 100, 130 degrees, and I had to activate my super cooling fans. Um, so I apologize for that. But uh, we don't have that here. I did cut out the volume in this next portion. You can kind of just hear me over, overview it uh, and narrate it as we act. So again, the goal here is to pick off, kill, or scare away any kind of exterior ships here. Um, you are going to see a pretty cool battle encounter in a minute or two uh, where we sneak, uh, my alt sneaks over in a stealth ship over to a bunch of hurricanes and stuff who are trying to pick people off <laughs> and you know how that works we uh, we jump over there, drop a box and we get about 30, uh, 30 different pilots up, oh, a little bit of a DC, you can see that it just there's just so many people these servers are not equipped to handle it uh, and believe it or not there was 1200 people at, at uh, for about the first hour of combat here and uh, people have been, you know, as they die, I guess they've been leaving the system. We also have gate camps coming into the system. So whenever the red guys die, uh, OB4S, whenever they die, they cannot come back and reinforce the station. Um, so a little bit of tactical maneuvers there for you, a little bit of strategy. If you cut off the supply route, then the army is here stranded uh, and under siege by itself. There's probably about 30 red ships that are inside the station. I believe, uh, and we're just waiting, waiting to see if any reinforcements come back, if anybody does come reinforce, and here's a good look at the station under attack, doesn't that look cool, 
Uh, it's a little bit different lighting than my video the other day. The video the other day was a little bit darker lighting. Um, and I think this is probably because my graphics are turned on ultra, ultra low for this. Um, oh, yeah, th there's no lighting effects today. Yeah, even with ultra low graphics on my Samsung Note 20 on an ultra fast connection, um, I it's, it's, it's tough to keep up. So um, hopefully, uh, you know, on these large battle animations, the devs can do something to kind of tweak tweak that massive uh, server overload. And it's not just, you know, our processing uh, locally. It's also the server is slowed down when these ships are are this numerous and they're all shooting projectiles and they're all casting lighting effects and they're all moving around. So you can imagine just the, the sheer overload at, their, at the server level. Um, and I do believe this is the largest battle to date. 1,200 EVE Echoes uh, pilots all uh, competing for the uh, sustaining or destroying this NullSec outpost, this OP4S NullSec outpost, which uh, you are going to see in a few minutes here is going to get obliterated. Uh, so yeah, we are all vying for that, uh, all vying for that, that last kill shot that'll give you the, give you the kill cam. Um, another good, good look at the station here. So. Now that the Red Forces have largely been defeated, um, they were defeated probably uh, probably within the half hour that I was at the gate. We are at the gate camp in the gate waiting for the station to cool down the drop. By the time we came to the station, as soon as the cool down dropped, uh, I would say 90% of OP4S was already killed. You know, we got a half dozen kills up by the gate, and then we came in here and got another three or four. So not the most activity that you could have seen from, uh, from my particular brawler fleet. But we had a specific mission, which again was uh, keep the supply route, you know, locked down. And then once the station opens up, head over and hit that. So that's why you see the blues kind of clouded everywhere. They're not really organized into bubbles um, like the reds are. The remaining reds are organized in little bubbles. And that's actually the group that you just saw. Oh, another reconnect. Um, that group that you just saw is the group that I'm currently sneaking my little stealth bomber over to. And in a, uh, in a minute or two, we're going to jump over to my stealth bomber once I come out of stealth. Um, uh, sorry, my uh, covert ops, not stealth bomber. We're going to sneak over the covert ops in a minute once he comes out, of, comes out of stealth. We'll go ahead and drop a box and wipe out that group of hurricanes that are hitting people. Um, another great shot of the station. Even on low graphics, this is so cool. I mean, look how dope that is. There's just so many ships. Everybody's moving around. Everybody's shooting. The station's getting obliterated. Uh, I love it. I love it. So I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to jettison some of these. I'm preparing to jettison. Um, because we are getting ready in the next... I mean, get excited. It's coming up. It's coming up any second now. In the next minute here, uh, lag permitting, because my, my stealth, uh, my covert ops stealth right now is currently sitting 15 kilometers from the hurricane stealthed and I can't even unstealth right now I, I'm, I'm actively trying to unstealth and I have not been able to do it it's just lagging so hard okay here we go we're getting ready getting ready my stealth's off hopefully hopefully my guy doesn't die before I can warp to him <laughs> so you can see I'm clicking on on Leia which is my alt and up oh, there's a DC this is really good timing for that my Leia is just sitting there 15 km from this fleet of hurricanes Oh my god. Uh, and spoiler alert for you, uh, Leia did die before I could get there. So devs, please fix the lag because I lost the ship. Literally, it took like almost 30 seconds just to select the warp button. Like it was insane, okay? Insane. Poor Leia. Poor Leia. But that's okay. We got a couple kills in there. That's okay. Um, I'm really trying. We're trying to get there. There it is. Okay, we're clicking warp. We're clicking warp. No targets nearby. The hell? Clicking warp. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fleet warp. Fleet warp. Kill the hurricane. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. I couldn't actually. Uh, looks like everybody arrived before me. I can't even see the red guys. They haven't even appeared yet. Uh, but let's definitely start targeting people. Let's start targeting these hurricanes. I'm trying to jettison. I'm attempting to jettison right now. That's what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is jettisoning a box. That way, everybody else who's not in my fleet can warp to the box. Um, they can warp to the box and kill these guys. Just doing our best right now to make that 
make that a reality. Doing our best to make that a reality. It looks like we had a good response team to the box. Looks like uh, several of the red chips were killed. I think a few of them got out in the warp, but it was a good effort overall. And here's a good shot of just the beehive that is the station. Check that out. Just the big old beehive right there. Everybody nuking that thing down. So uh, it's basically time, basically time to watch that thing die. It's close, guys. It is close. Um, gonna go start moving towards this hound. It's still pretty far away. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. We might just head back to the station in a second. You'll probably see me just head back to the station and start killing that. Um, it's just so close to death. Looks like someone else is killing the hound. Nope, oh, got out. But uh, yeah, the station is just so close to death. You know what? It's just time to time to watch it explode. Watch it explode. Here it comes. There it is. Oh, even at low graphics. Look at that shockwave. Look at that explodination. The burnination of the explosion of the Hopi 4S station. Sorry about your luck, guys. Maybe go into a different area of Nullsec uh, and try again because you can kiss that 20 billion S down the, down the drain. Good effort. Great job by the uh, whole Allied Coalition here. It was a blast. It was a lot of fun. I only got a couple kills, but uh, you know what? I'll take it. Um, I didn't lose my mauler. I had like three, two or three maulers already built and ready to die. I basically expected to lose all my ships today. Uh, all I lost was my stealth ship on my alt because, again, the game lagged for like a minute. I literally couldn't even warp there for like a minute after, um, after I decloaked. So luckily I was able to warp before my stealth ship got blown up. They took so long to target me because they were also lagging. Uh, now we're just heading back to fat. We're going to start guarding the station here. So thank you to all my wonderful viewers. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is a lot of fun. Biggest, biggest uh, station battle in the history of Eve Echoes to date. Uh, recorded by yours truly, Randy, with RTS Mobile Angels. Super duper happy. Great work. Happy Sunday fun day. And uh, again, give me that like and sub. Love you guys a long time. Randy getting well, I guess I'll I'll jump to the station. You can see that we're already we're already have a plan together to respond and, and camp on the station. We've also camping on 9 CG station and the other the other outposts that we expect Red to move to. And we're just gonna do our best to beat them into the ground, knock them back into the Stone Age, and make sure that they are not around to compete again. Alright, now for real. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Randy out. Love you a long time.